Section 3.2, Linear and Quadratic Functions. So first, addressing linear functions. We've talked a lot about linear functions up until now. Um, but actually, what we've talked about are linear equations. So I want you to think about this. What is the only linear equation that is not a function? And when trying to determine this, make sure you think about the definition of a function in the ways that we looked at in section 3.1 to determine whether or not an equation, a graph, or a table was a function. Well, hopefully you realize that no matter what line I happen to graph on my Cartesian plane, a vertical line will not pass the vertical line test. So a vertical line, which is of the form x equals some number is not a linear function. All other linear equations we have are linear functions. We know that in general linear functions have a highest power of 1. So they're of the form y equals mx plus b where x is raised to the first power. Linear equations do appear as a straight line and they have a constant slope or a constant rate of change, which is why they appear as a straight line. Because our y changes by the same amount every time our x changes by the same amount. So we have change in x, change in y. And m is always that same constant number. Okay, next we'll look at quadratic functions. Here are some general characteristics of quadratic functions. Quadratic function is a polynomial with the highest power of 2, or we can say that it's a polynomial of degree 2. For example, f of x equals 2x squared plus 16 is a quadratic function. Quadratic functions appear as a parabola. And the parabola can be concave up or concave down. Each parabola, no matter whether it's concave up or concave down, will have a vertex. which is either the lowest point, which is called a minimum, or the highest point, which is called a maximum. Notice, though, because our parabolas are curved, they do have a changing slope or a changing rate of change. So with our blue graph, here we have a steep negative slope. At the vertex, we have a zero slope, and on the right side, we have a positive slope. In general, there are two ways that we can graph quadratic equations, aside from using a graphing calculator or GeoGebra or Mathematica, whatever you want to use. So for graphing by hand, the first method we'll look at is finding the roots which are the horizontal intercepts. To do this, we can either factor or use the quadratic equation. And recall that the quadratic equation is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I actually prefer to write this as negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you'll see why by the end of this lesson. Okay, let's look at our first example. Go ahead, take a moment, factor f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 12. 